the first day they can be are like rabbits in, in headlights, third meds in particular. So my main aim is to introduce them to Sligo in the first couple of days to get them settled. And then, then they just fly after that. Once they're settled in, they, they fly. The first time that I got to meet a patient by myself, so I was on placement in geriatrics in the hospital here and the consultant asked me to take a history and examine a patient by myself and then kind of report the findings to them. And just the fact that I got on so well with the patient did kind of make me feel like I, I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life. And I, I think it was a sort of a relief when I was able to do it and I enjoyed it so much. So definitely that kind of reassured me that I was in the right place. As a med student being in the hospital, I think it's been interesting to see the vulnerabilities of patients. And I think that patients are very happy to have us around because they feel comfortable asking us questions and they know that we might not know everything, but we can go and seek other help and seek information and come back to them and deliver news in a more gentle way sometimes. We have the time to spend with them, talking to them about their history and their life. So I think it's provided us with a lot of reassurance as well and a lot of reassurance for patients um, to be here. Patients are the best teachers. So, you know, we, we can talk about things in the classroom environment, but really until you get that opportunity to talk to a patient and to have the privilege of entering into this sort of part of their life, you know, you get this kind of snapshot as to who they are and, and being able to do that is it is a huge privilege and to recognise that as the privilege that it is. Um, and also to respect the patient as that teacher because they are going to be the people who are going to push you along your, your path. It's not going to be, you know, the textbook that you're going to refer to. The textbook, yes, will supplement that in that interaction, but it's being around patients and respecting them and learning from them. I probably was nervous in third year going into placements and then it kind of diminished as, as, as time went on, but now I just love going in. So you learn the etiquette quite quickly and you learn what people like to see and what people don't like to see. So it's really simple to get started. You just say your name, introduce yourself and show that you're willing to learn. Often if you like lay your skills out there on the table, you know, I've practiced doing whatever and I'd love to practice it some more and lay out what you'd like to do um, what you'd like to see, what your goals are. They'll be delighted to have you, and particularly in ED, the consultants are so welcoming. They're so excited to have someone to teach. Then the other thing would be just to be really friendly. Um, even if it's not your natural way, I, don't, I kind of am an extrovert anyway, but you just have to pretend, you know, and it becomes easier and easier to just talk to people, make good eye contact, um, ask them how they are, because people in healthcare often don't get asked how they are. Um, and they'll really like you then, and they'll take you under their wing. So just be nice, that's the main thing. I really thought I was going to like a small town in Ireland. Uh, people would be very different from me. And I think maybe that I had anxieties around that. But I think coming here, you really realize like, uh, you just meet people from all over the world and all over Ireland, and all over Europe. And so you, even though I'm here to learn about medicine, I think I, the biggest takeaway was really getting to learn about people's lives and their personal lives and um, how medicine shaped them, be it our teaching staff or even our patients, you know, working in a community-based healthcare, you really get to know your patients and they always have a story to tell and why they're there. Um, and I think that's probably the biggest takeaway from being a Bounceau for me. There's a lot to learn to become a doctor, um, but to become a, a really well-rounded person, you, you need to have things outside as well. It's always reassuring that each generation of students we can see um, is transformative. They, they are ready, they are prepared, and they have the flexibility to respond to the challenges of their particular generation. The best thing is when you're walking down the corridor here and when you see the alumni of NUIG who are now SHOs and now looking after your father, your mother, your uncle, your aunt, and you know that they're, those patients are in safe hands. That's, that's the best thing.